can eating healthy be really easy and transition into that lifestyle in a fast way? Are you looking for tips on how to do that? Then stay tuned to this video because I'm going to give you three super simple tips that will help you get started on eating healthy every single day without feeling deprived or restricted. Welcome to Lenis Perez TV, where with awareness, ease, and action, you will be able to reach your goals in life to have a wonderful, complete well-being. And I'm here to give you three tips on how to start eating healthy. Well, this is something that I'm very passionate about. As you can see from the channel, I started this channel with a bunch of recipes, a twist to Latin American recipes, a healthy way because I didn't want to feel deprived from my favorite foods, but I wanted to make sure that they had the most nutrients and were super tasty and good for me. So I'm gonna give you three simple and easy tips that are going to help you get started on eating healthy. And I'm not gonna go into specific diets because everyone is unique. So you need to, first of all, create an awareness of how your body feels when you consume certain foods. With that said, I think this exercise will help you get started and will really give you some easy tools to feel amazing. So tip number one, let's look at your grocery list. What do you have in there? Do you typically write your favorite fruits and vegetables on the top of your list? Or is it normally filled with things that you have, um, that you need from the, from the fridge, or that you just simply need to replace? Well, a lot of times, as I mentioned, we put things without really thinking about. We write things in our grocery list without thinking about. Look at the subconscious um, video that I did a couple of weeks ago. But what we want to make sure is to create awareness of what we're putting in our grocery list. Because when we go to the grocery store, we want to make sure that we don't wander around in the not so healthy aisles and we get the foods that are gonna be the most nutrition for us. So, think about the design of a supermarket. Why is it that when you enter a supermarket, you typically enter through the produce section? And that's because you want to spend the most time there. So you wanna make sure that at the top of your list, you have your fruits and vegetables first. Then you wanna make sure that you stay on the perimeter of the supermarket because anything that's in that middle aisle, it's typically not that good for you. Tip number two, and this is stay away as much as possible from processed foods and prepackaged foods. There are a lot of chemicals in these processed foods. Uh, remember that the foods are being engineered in a lab to make you like them. They are as far from nature as possible just because they're trying to manipulate the ingredients to make sure that you come back and buy the same stuff over and over again because it creates this feeling of, I want more, right? That's why we get so addicted to uh, potato chips or any other prepackaged food that have the perfect combination of salt and sweetness and fat that will keep us hooked. We want to make sure that we eat as close to nature as possible. We are human beings, we grew, we were created in nature, we want to consume things that are easily found in nature. And then tip number three, and this is one tip that I think is gonna be so useful for you because when you look at things that you want to improve, you will be able to get the information to help you find a solution for it. So, this is to keep a food track or food diary. What I want you to look at when you take pictures or write notes on the things that you eat for about a week, this exercise should take about a week, independently of having off days or having non-usual days, I want you to keep track because sometimes they happen more often than not. When you're keeping track, just look at how close to nature are you eating. 
or are you eating a lot of prepackaged foods? This exercise is here to help you create awareness, not judgment on yourself, simply creating awareness of how much of the processed foods are you really consuming and how much of natural foods are you having on your day to day. And this will help you create better habits, also prepare that grocery list such that you are successful on eating healthy and creating better habits for you. So, to summarize, we talked about Look at your grocery list. Are you including your favorite fruits and vegetables on the top of that list? Number two, we want to make sure that we are staying away from super processed, prepackaged foods that are not so healthy for us. And number three, we want to keep a food log or a food diary. So these are my tips. Do you have any idea of have you ever tried keeping a food log before and has it ever helped you? I would love you to leave me comments below on what your experience is or which of these tips you're definitely going to try right now because all of these are super simple and will help you feel relieved, healthy and energized. And I want to remind you that all of this work that we're doing to feel healthy, to feel energized, starts with the mind. So one of the tools that I use to help me with my mindset is start the morning with affirmations. This is a habit that I've created in the past year and has completely transformed my life. So if you're interested in getting that morning affirmations cheat sheet, you will be able to find it in the comments below. You can download it completely for completely free and you can start your day in creating your day and setting it up to be successful and to be healthy and energized and I hope you leave for a really, really long time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, to subscribe to the channel and to share it with your friends and family so they can also be on board and also start creating better habits and healthier habits for themselves. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.